think we're live. Are we live? We are live. Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and guess what it is? It's Friday, yeah! Lauren, we need a cheer for Friday. Woo! And this is the official Hungry Girl happy hour. Right now I have one viewer, and it is Lauren, who is in my kitchen, watching. Am I live on the Hungry Girl page? Yes. Because there's only 12 people watching. Live. We're live. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have to admit something. Since this whole pandemic started, since we've been in quarantine, I have not had one sip of alcohol until today, about like a half hour ago. So I have had um, like one cocktail. And so I'm a little tipsy because I'm a little bit of a lightweight. So that's why I decided to wear my cocktail shirt. If you look closely, you can see that my shirt is filled with all kinds of beautiful cocktails. I actually bought this shirt to wear on the Hungry Girl Cruise. There was a Hungry Girl Cruise about a year ago or whenever it was, two years ago. And it was really fun and I never wore the shirt. But I'm wearing it now for you guys because this is the official Hungry Girl Happy Hour. The idea here is that you are supposed to pour a cocktail and join me because I don't like to drink alone. So I'm gonna give you a recipe that's phenomenal um, it's a recipe that you could make over and over and over and over. You should click likes, hearts, and everything because this recipe is awesome. And throughout the night, depending on how many, <laughs> thanks Jamie, you like my shirt. Depending on how many of you click likes and are having a fun time, I'm going to be giving away copies of Hungry Girl Happy Hour. This is a timeless Hungry Girl classic. I'm sorry it's backwards. I'm gonna go on record and say I am learning how to flip the camera and I'm not gonna be backwards forever. I'm gonna be frontwards very soon. But for now, for now, I am backwards, but I'm giving away Hungry Girl Happy Hour. If you want a copy of this book, let us know. I need to see comments. In the comments, you need to say, good, good, thanks, you like my shirt. You need to say, Lisa, I want this book. I need Hungry Girl Happy Hour. It's an awesome book. I want it, give it to me and I, you might win it. So I'm giving away at least one copy of Hungry Girl Happy Hour. It's a great book filled with uh, cocktail recipes and party appetizers and everything under the sun that you could possibly need when it comes to making alcoholic beverages. And there's even ways for you to turn them into virgin cocktails in case you don't drink. So if you guys have not poured a cocktail yet, you really should. Do me that favor and pour yourself a drink because I'm gonna make a colorful, beautiful, delicious 100 calorie cocktail that will change your life if you have a blender. If you don't have a blender, mm, I don't know, but get a blender. I mean, everybody should have a blender. You have a blender, right? Anyway, the happy hour book is the prize of the night and I might give away more than one. So please, please tell me that you want it. All right, now. For those of you who know about Hungry Girl and you've been subscribing to the daily emails, good for you. If you have not and you don't know what the Hungry Girl, Hungry Girl daily emails are, you should subscribe because they're really great. And if you don't get them, that is a shame. Um, and if you know Hungry Girl, you know that I a lot of times will put in cocktail recipes. And the whole idea about cocktails for me is that the calories in the cocktails should really come from the alcohol. So a shot of clear alcohol, like vodka, and please don't judge me on the size of the bottle, or how much is missing, because I haven't had a sip in a very long time until today. Um, the calories should come from the alcohol. And what you mix in, if you're smart and careful, won't add a lot of calories. So it should, in theory, be easy to make drinks that have about 100 calories or so. And the way I like to achieve that is by using these, these are like my secret weapons when it comes to being a little bartender. And these are drink mix packets that are sugar-free. So I have probably in this house an embarrassingly huge amount of these. I think I have gosh, probably 40 or 50 boxes. I'm not kidding, in every flavor. And I'm gonna show you my five favorite flavors. Hi, Susan, Susie. I'm gonna show you um, my five favorite flavors and, that I like to use to make drinks. And the one I'm using tonight is Jolly Rancher Blue Raspberry. I also like this Cherry Head Cherry Drink Mix. Fair warning, this will stain everything and who knows what the heck it does to your insides, but this is a big stainer. Crush, Pineapple Crush is probably my number one, honestly. It's the best flavor of all. Um, it's amazing, I love it. Are you guys drinking yet? Because if you're not, Pour that drink, if it's a glass of wine, whatever it is, do it. 
Then I also love the Jolly Rancher Apple is another great one. And Weiler's Light. I'm showing you like little known drink mixes. These are like secret underground. Think of me as like a super detective sleuth when it comes to this stuff because I find the flavors that are hard to get. So this is a peach, straight up peach. I love this, this is incredible. So there's peach, pineapple, apple, cherry, and blue raz. You got that? All right, now, I'm gonna remind you, I'm giving away Hungry Girl Happy Hour books. Here it is. It looks like this, only you could read it because it says happy hour and it's not ra ra ha ha ya. Anyway, um, it's a great book and if you want this book, say you want the book, tell me that you're enjoying this. Let us know what you like. Also, today I wanna thank you for weighing in on the Bagel Bites. Um, I asked in the Hungry Girl community, the What's Chewing community, if you don't belong to that community, you should. I asked what bagel bites I should make, and the winner is, hi, Aunt Tish. The winner is chocolate chip. So I'm going to be making chocolate chip bagel bites this weekend. I don't know the exact day. It's either going to be tomorrow or Sunday. But today, it's all about the happy hour, and I hope you're enjoying my hideous shirt. Because there's blue drinks on the shirt, and guess what I'm making? It's a blue drink. So who out there is drinking a cocktail right now? Click hearts, send me pictures of your cocktail, tell me you're drinking because I'm about to pour a cocktail for myself and I don't like to drink alone. So the cocktail recipe tonight, it's for my famous slushy. The, usually I give very specific information about the slushy, but tonight, because I know we're in quarantine, you're gonna quarantine your way and you can use the clear alcohol of your choice and the drink mix of your choice. So for me, I'm using vodka tonight. And I'm using Jolly Rancher Blue Raspberry. But you, if you're home and you wanna use tequila and Crystal Light Lemonade, go for it. If you wanna use vodka and cherry and, or iced tea mix or anything, do it, just do it. And if you wanna make your cocktail for two because you have a friend or you just want to drink an extra drink, you're gonna start by doing three ounces of alcohol. So, I think this is three ounces here. Maybe it a little like more. A lot. <laughs> it's three ounces, people. <laughs> Lauren's like, it looks like a lot. All right, so three ounces of alcohol. You're gonna put that in your blender. You need a blender. I have a blue KitchenAid situation. I almost dropped my giant bottle here. Oh, <laughs> then I'm gonna take my drink mix packet. I'm gonna show you what to do with it. If you guys weren't watching me, I might open this with my teeth, but since my dentist is not working and I might crack a tooth doing that, I'm gonna use scissors, kitchen scissors, and you pour your drink mix packet into the blender like so. Now, I like blue drinks. I love blue food. I don't know why, but it just seems more fun than other color food. Uh, next up, this is the most important thing. If you're, if you're lucky enough to have crushed ice in your life, use crushed ice. Okay, um, if you don't have crushed ice, you can use whatever ice you like. The key is you need a lot of ice and you need good ice. I'm an ice snob. I can't say I'm a snob about a lot of things. I'm an ice snob. So I pack this cup. Actually, forget that. I'm gonna pack a two cup, cup with ice. Two full cups of ice. I use two to three cups of ice in my blender. This is like very special pellet ice, like Sonic. I have a machine that makes these. So do you guys have Sonic where you live? People are drinking. All right, if you're drinking, I love you guys. So now I have to warn you, I'm gonna turn the blender on and it's gonna be very loud. Hey, Gina. All right, here it goes. Now we blend. Hold on, can you get a view of the blender? Yeah. Front and center, baby, blend away. Come on. and a good blender. And I have to be honest, I have both. I have good ice and I have a good blender. If you don't, you can always get your hand. Look at this, slushy city. Yum. You can get good ice and a good blender. Even if you have not so good ice and an okay blender, like a magic bullet is like awesome. And I usually use that. This is blue. Yes, Jamie, it's beautiful. Good one. So this is the drink. This is gonna, this is a blue raspberry quarantini. It's frozen. 
It is so yummy. I really wish, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I just realized, I almost forgot the most important thing. Remember these peeps from last night? If you have peeps, look, look what you could do here. You got a little bunny in a jacuzzi. It's like a bunny floating in a swimming pool. <laughs> if you like this, you better click hearts because I don't do this for just anyone. <laughs> All right, now we drink. Cheers, guys. We are going to make a toast right now to um, making the best of the quarantine, staying in, staying healthy, and coming out of this on the other side better than we were before. Okay, let's cheers right now. Cheers. Jamie, I bet you're chugging water. <laughs> Jamie's chugging up a storm over there. Mm -hmm. Who likes the bunny in the jacuzzi? All right. Now, as you may or may not remember, I'm giving away the Happy Hour Cookbook tonight. And if you want to win the Happy Hour Cookbook, let me know that you want to win the Happy Hour Cookbook. This is a cookbook from probably 2010, but it holds up today because there's a, a lot of appetizers and hors d'oeuvres. I have brain freeze. Holy oh, macaroni. Shit. I have brain freeze right now. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. I know. Anyway, if you want to win this book, please say you want to win the book and you might win it. Do you have questions for me about anything relating to alcoholic beverages? Because I will tell you this, another thing that you can do, now this drink, by the way, only has about 100 calories, not even. Um, if you want to make a really good slushy drink, you could also add frozen fruit to your blender. Frozen fruit in the blender like, is a fantastic thing. I like mango. It's not, like not all fruits work great, but mango, is the best and the texture is amazing um but i didn't add any frozen fruit to this i would and i could and i hope that you do uh but anyway whatever anyone else have questions or comments concerns because i'm going to drink this whole thing please down that drink and continue the live this of course that's what my staff is saying all right my nails are terrible my nails could not be worse. If you think my nails look good, it's because you're not getting a good view. But I'm about to file them and give myself a French manicure this very weekend, and I will be back and show you. Oh my God, help. <laughs> That's my husband, everyone. He never crashes the, the lives. What's going on here? Ow! What's happening? That hurt my eardrum. I'm sorry. You it's see, okay, I brought you, you, I brought you some uh, eardrum ointment. I happen, I happen to have some with me right here. <laughs> Taste that. Oh my God, that's the best thing I've ever had. How did in you do that? Life? How did that happen? You have to watch the live. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it right now. <laughs> that was a special guest. It's okay because he's my husband. He's allowed to be here. All right, I'm going to drink this. Uh, I'm concerned that your cup is still full. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, well, my bunny in my jacuzzi is floating happily. I know there's still like well over a thousand people over there. If you have questions, I'll answer them. Oh, oh, oh Kathy. Oh, what was in that drink? Oh, 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 what was in the drink? Oh. He's ruining everything. Oh, everyone, your relatives are all saying hello, uh, including your sister, Kathy, and nephew Scott. Oh, they're on? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's 1,100 people here. Oh, my He's about goodness. to do. Uh, 1,100? I thought this was just family. Now I'm embarrassed. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Good to see you. 1,100 people in my kitchen that I didn't know that were here. Hi. Oh, by the way, every night everyone asks what is on the piece of paper in the background. Those are emergency vet numbers for our animals. So um, <laughs> if the animals, God forbid, anything happens, that's who we call. Who? who what a cutie. Who, see, you're a cutie. Thank you. Who typed that list up and put that on the refrigerator? You did. Really? Yeah, you're so resourceful. That's, that's a pretty and helpful. sweet, sensitive husband. You're incredible. <laughs> Recap, okay, Gina wants a recap. The recap of this recipe is as follows. You're gonna put two shots of vodka, which is three ounces of alcohol, one drink mix packet in the flavor of your choice, two to three cups of ice in the blender, and you're gonna blend until the texture is just like that. And then you're gonna drink it until you act as goofy as I am acting right now. The recipe will be posted soon, James says. The recipe will be posted soon. All right, skinny. Wait, it's Hungry Girl, not Skinny Girl magazine. But thank you for liking it.
Please post ads. This is the best. Dana, you're the best. Listen, I'm really glad the Hungry Girl staff is here, and I'm glad to end a Friday like this because this has been really fun. And um, you guys, I love you. Are you drinking? If you're drinking, click hearts. If, remember, if you want to win the book, say you want to win the book because I'm going to be out in about a minute. Okay? Jamie says show us Bam Bam. Bam Bam. All right. We're going to show you Bam Bam. And then, wait, where's Bam? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Are you going to play the guitar? He said there's 1,100 people. Now it's only 1,000. Oh, then I'm out. I'm out. No, play the guitar. Come back. Please. Oh, this is terrible. All right, bring Bam Bam out. Okay. If we can't have Dan Dan, we need Bam Bam. Hold on. Where's Bam Bam? Right here. We should do this every Friday. Shouldn't we? I think we should. How much tequila can I add? You could add the same amount of tequila. Here's Bam Bam and Lauren. Oh, Who like wants to be in quarantine with us? Hello. <laughs> All right, people. I know it's been fun, but I've got to go. Um, if you haven't watched this whole live, you should... Oh, my hair just fell. You should go back, start from the beginning, and enjoy it, because this was a freaking good one. I am Lisa Lillian. I'll be back this weekend with a great bagel recipe. Uh-oh. I am also, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew and sip the right thing. I have to end this. <laughs>